Georgia O'Keeffe was born in Sun Prairie, Wisconsin in 1888. While on vacation in New Mexico, she painted a series of large-scale flowers, trees, and leaves. She also painted the many animal carcasses she found in the Southwest Desert. Though not a traditional subject, O'Keeffe once said the sun-bleached bones and skulls were as beautiful as anything she knew and in some ways more alive than the animals walking around. You will create your very own Georgia O'Keeffe-inspired cow skull. For this project, I need a pencil, an eraser, and then a black marker that can be spread by water, so not a Sharpie, as well as crayons and a piece of paper. All right, first thing is I'm gonna show you how to draw the cow skull. I'm starting with a circle in the middle of my paper. I'm drawing light, but I hope you can still see it. Now I'm gonna add an oval going across, that's going over the end of my circle. And finally, I'm going to add a rectangle shape down at the bottom that's a little bit in from the sides of my circle. So now that I have these shapes, I'm gonna use my eraser to erase any of the lines inside those three shapes. It'll become one complete shape going around. Now I'm gonna add two more cross between a square and a rectangle along the top, but leaving that little hump from the top of the circle so you can see that. Now I'm gonna start going out and down on the sides and I'm just gonna start shaping and sculpting my skull. So follow along as best you can I'm touching where the oval was, right? So I brought it out. Now I'm going to make my jawline a little wider. So going down and then curving so that I don't have just a straight rectangle along the bottom. Erase again any of those lines that are not the outside edge shape. Once you've got your outline, take a pencil and draw a light line down the middle of your cow skull. Now you're gonna start adding some of the detail. So I'm going up at the top. I'm gonna add some curves along the side to finish rounding it out so that I don't have that straight square at the bottom. And I'm going to bring the two sides into the middle so that I separate the bottom into two sections. Erase any lines that you don't need at the bottom. From here, I'm gonna start adding more definition to my cow skull. So I'm gonna add place for the eyes, and I'm doing slanted lines, and I'll fill these in later as I go. So just keep following along with me. I'm kind of making my edges go out past where the curved part of my skull is. You can kind of see there. Now I'm going to add my long horns, which are just curved lines up and down, meeting up at my skull. I'm continuing to add details to my skull. It's not perfectly smooth, so we wanna show the angles of the skull, the areas of the face that, you know, the bone isn't perfectly round or perfectly smooth, it has dimension to it. 
The other really cool thing about a cow skull is that the bottom part where the like jowl is, a lot of it isn't bone. And so we're gonna show that right now. I'm drawing this area that will become this black like empty space in our cow skull. Now, using a black marker, I'm gonna to begin to outline everything I've drawn so far. You'll also see me color certain areas in. So just be aware as you watch and see where I color in and where I just outline. Once you're done with your outlining, use crayons to do your background. I'm using crayons because when we add the water for all the shadows on our cow skull, we don't want the background to bleed into our cow skull. So I wanna use the crayons or oil pastels because those will create a water resist and will not be affected by the water. I'm using a simple pattern along the sides similar to Georgia O'Keeffe's cow skull red, white, and blue, which you saw in the introduction to this video. So I'm going to start with these lines along the side and I'm pressing down really hard to create a really dark value of my purple. And then in the middle in the back, I'm gonna carefully add an ombre effect with a couple different colors of crayon. You can follow with this or you can create your own design in the background. All right, at this point, it's time to finish up the skull. So I have my water ready, and I'm just gonna add a little bit more black along the bottom half of my horns so that I'll have even more shadow. And once I get started, I'm going to try to fill that color out. And so there you see, I'm starting to add the shadow. I'm wetting the black line and allowing it to move halfway up my horns. 
One thing I didn't realize when I was doing this is that I used two different blacks. And so I have two different black shadows being created, but I really like it. So I'm just gonna continue wetting all of these lines that we created and filling them in. And you'll see you're gonna get more and more dimension to your cow skull. And it's really gonna bring it to life at the end. So make sure some of it is still that pure white of the background of your paper. And then some of it should be all shaded in, just like this.